Poop. I'm not Slave 49. And this is Halo Infinite, the only game that doesn't fucking work. As you may or may not have already seen, uh, I put that video up where I was all like, hey everyone, it's me, Skabopus. I'm going to try to load into a game. Fun fact, so that video was like five minutes long. Uh, I had been trying to get into a game, much as I am now, for like 10 or 15 minutes before then. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this game's matchmaking. It just doesn't fucking work. Oh, hey, I'm in a game. I found a game. Match starting in one. 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 Match. It actually fucking worked. Okay, Jesus Christ. Luckily, the multiplayer is stable enough once you're actually in a game, but fucking lord getting to. That sounded like stockpile. I do love how... Stockpile. Oh, stockpile. Oh, thank fucking God. I was going to say, I need one stockpile match. I need to win one stockpile match in order to complete my weekly challenges. I have been stuck with this fucking stockpile challenge. I have been re-rolling this goddamn challenge using every single fucking challenge token that I have. Okay, only three. I guess I don't exist. <laughs> Anyway, we going. <laughs> we need these fucking stockpile seeds. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, I need one fucking stockpile win to complete these goddamn challenges. I am winning this fucking stockpile game. Hey, friend, how you doing? Stop, stop aiming. All right, uh, load up. What? How did I die? <laughs> I wasn't that damaged. I shouldn't have been within one hit kill range. Whatever. Go get the seeds. I have a need for seed. What the fuck? The only assumption I can make there is that on his end, he shot me and then meleeed me. Which just happened in... Well, I... Okay. Which just happened in very quick succession, resulting in an instant kill on my end, but very much a, very much a sequential series of events. On, on his end. That is the only explanation I have because that literally fucking killed me instantly. Oh, whoop. Oh, whoop. Uh, whoop, and I'm dead. Uh, no, we need... We need to fucking win. <laughs> Jesus Christ, just... I just need one fucking win. I would not be this desperate to get a win if... If they had playlists where you could choose what game mode you picked. But as it stands, I have to fucking... Pray! Oh, hell yeah! I have to fucking pray that I get stockpile. Because otherwise, I am just... Stop. Stop shooting me. Stop. What's really good is if you get the repulsor, you can just move all the seeds all at once, because they're all physics objects. I'm gonna get that sniper. How whoop. How whoop. I just, I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry if I'm not saying anything too, too interesting right now. I just want you all to know I am incredibly fucking desperate to be done with this. No! With this weekly challenge. I just need it to be over. I need to be able to play the game regularly. I just, I, again, would not be an issue if you could fucking pick the game mode that you played. But no, no, I have to, I have to just hit big team battle and pray to motherfucking Julianos that I get fucking stockpile. Except guess what? It doesn't it doesn't fucking happen. Don't shoot me. It doesn't fucking happen. It doesn't fucking happen. It doesn't fucking happen. You just you, you you're just stuck. You're just stuck with whatever the fuck the game throws at you. You're just like, oh boy, I need to I need to get uh, fucking one energy sword kill in order to in order to complete this challenge. Well, guess what? Good good fucking luck. The weapons in this game are randomized. 
So, I'm on comment. Why? The weapons in this game are, are fucking randomized. So, the map that you spawned in on might not even have energy swords. It might be grav hammers this match. Uh, oh, what's that? You need to play fucking... Uh, you need to complete three games of stockpile? Well, good... Good fuck... What? There we go. Good fuck... Good fucking luck doing... D doing anything... Any... Anything, honestly. No, st It is just... This game's challenge system is absolute dog shit. The, the progression system aside, it's fucking horrible. You can't choose to do anything, yet... The game expects you to be able to. It's like, oh, you got to do this specific thing. It's like, okay, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and queue up for multiplayer so I can, fucking, attempt to do that. I hit sp. I fucking hate trying to pick up power. Yeah, like, <laughs> look at the, look at that guy. Okay, never mind. I thought he was trying to pick up the power seed and failing. God, I just. It's just so incredibly stressful, and then you get into a game where you can, at long last, attempt to get that one fucking stockpile win that you need in order to complete your challenge for the fucking thing that they're, that they're fucking lording over your head, just being like, ah, hey, yes, if you complete all the challenges, then you too can acquire this cool sniper rifle skin. Yeah, for this gun. This cool sniper rifle skin, isn't that nice? And it's like, yeah, it sure would be nice if I could. If I could fucking hit anything. Uh, sure would be, die. Sure would be nice if, if I could fucking choose to actually do any of the challenges that you have set for. It reminds me of the, it reminds me of a lot of the challenges in, in Call of Duty games for, like, rocket launchers. There was, uh, no, stop, stop, stop. Die. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, in order to get gold camo for the RPG, it was like, oh yes, uh, shoot down X kill or not just the RPG, really all the rocket launchers. It was like, oh yeah, shoot down X kill streak, shoot down Y kill streak. And it's like, okay, well, uh, for for the things that are just like, oh yeah, yeah, shoot down ten UAVs, whatever. You know, people call in UAVs all the time. That's fine. Hell, you probably do that without even paying attention. But for the ones that are like, ah yes. Uh, using this rocket launcher, we're not gonna win this game. Using this rocket launcher, shoot down a fucking uh, AC-130, and it's like, all right, cool, so this is literally not a challenge I can do. It is a challenge that someone else has to do. That's the di that's the issue, that's, that's the design problem that I feel like a lot of these sorts of games have. I will fucking die. That's a lot, of, that's the challenge, that's the problem that a lot of these sorts of games have, is that for whatever fucking reason, the people who make challenges in these games don't seem to have any fucking idea what they're doing. Stuff like that, where it's like, oh yeah, you know what, that sounds like a good challenge. Shoot down an AC-130, and it's like, okay, so... Like I said, that's literally not a fucking challenge that you can do. Someone else has to do it. You can't get an AC-130 and shoot down your own. No, you have to fucking pray that someone else gets an AC-130 so that you can shoot it down for them. Similarly, you can't just win games of stockpile in this. You have to fucking pray that the game randomly lets you get into a stockpile match. And that's if you... I have been stuck with this for... Oh, I have one reroll. Well... I mean, I'm, I'm at one win... So here's the thing, if if this next match isn't stockpile, I am going to fucking re-roll this because this is this is fucking miserable. I hate this. I hate be it, again. Look, weapon coding Abby Lime. That's for the sniper rifle. It's like oh, complete all the challenges to do the thing. It's like okay, yeah, I'll complete the challenges if I got any fucking opportunity to do so. But no, 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 just. Yeah, just have the matchmaker not work at all, which, I mean, that's technical issues. Match starting in one, 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 match starting in one. Okay, we're in. At least this game has, uh, why did it just switch to an Xbox control? What?
you can move around while the screen's black. Alright, well, I guess I'm re-rolling that fucking challenge. I have gotten in so many games of Big Team Slayer. <laughs> and then, of course, I moved while it was still black. So, uh... <laughs> oh, what are you fucking me? <laughs> Alright, I kind of love that. That's really good. Should be there. If it isn't there, then that means that we've got the stalker rifle. Like I said, the weapons are random. Everything is random. At least the we at least the things that are like, ooh, get- fuck you. At least the things that are like, ooh, get kills with a particular weapon. Those ones are like, oh, you know what, you can learn what where the weapons are on the maps, except no, you can't, because- because they're fucking random. Like, uh, oh, we got heat wave this time. Sometimes you get shotgun. Sometimes it's heat wave. Sometimes it's this guy's fucking dead. Rip to that guy, but I'm different. Let's just walk directly to our own fucking demise. Whoop! Yeah, that was that was fucked. I would have. Oh, I'm 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 going! I'm going! I'm going! The distance! I'm going! The fucking dick! Here we go! Oh, when this game decides that it wants to work and you can forget about the challenges for a second, it is quite fun. Until then, it's it's just yeah, it's just yeah. It gets to the point where where you wonder why is Alex playing this game? I'm not wondering that because I'm playing the game and I I'm doing something. There we go. Uh, but but like you do. Thank you. Oh, hey. Did I throw the grenade? Well. Oh boy, plasma pistol, the most useful weapon in the game. I like how they got rid of the plasma pistol's EMP functionality. Now that they have, like, shock weapons. I... Oh no. Whoa! Come on, I gotta get him. There we go. Took him the fuck out. I didn't need to, if I was going to back smack him like that, I rocket launcher. Damn it. No, no, no. Yeah, you thought I wouldn't do it, did you? I got one more racket so I can take someone out if I feel like it. Which I do. Oh, I fucked up. Ooh, skewer. Well. No. Alright, well, I'm gonna drop that for that guy. No, 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 no! Rip to me, but I'm different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all really weird, because this game is genuinely very fun. But everything around the game that is not literally just the raw gameplay is just fucking nightmarish. Fucking no, 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 no. Fucking the, the the microtransaction whole the whole ordeal is just it's just fucked and it's, it's just a lot and it's all that shit. I don't know, man. I'm tired. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to perish. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, nope, nope, that motherfucker. Here, here, you die? Thank you. No, stop. Stop. No. Well, it's okay, I tagged him, so my teammates are gonna come help and shoot that guy any second now. Come on, get him. Get him, get him, teammates. Come on. Come on, come on, teammates. Are we winning? No, of course we're not. That's another thing. Somebody pointed out that this game has uh, skill-based matchmaking, and I'm normally a proponent of skill-based matchmaking, but I have noticed that I do sort of keep getting into a cycle where I just lose every single game, and then the game lowers my skill rating, and then I win every single game, and then the game's like, oh, well, he's winning all of his games. Let's bump him up. And then, and then I get bumped up into it skill tier that is higher than I actually am, so I start losing every single game. Skill-based matchmaking is fine when it's done well. Like, uh... As fucked as Blizzard is currently, uh, the skill matching system in Overwatch is pretty damn good. I felt, 
felt reasonably matched against other players of about the same skill, but in a way that wasn't just like, whoop. No, no. Please, I am shooting you. I am shoot. How big is the fucking hitbox of that gun goose? My, my crosshair was right on the guy on the gun goose the entire time. That was weird. Oh, I dinged him. Did you see that? I dinged him. I fired bullet at him and he went ding. Oh, let me tell you though, if you're wondering why I'm tired, I had a very long and stressful week at work. Mostly just, there's a sniper there. Not like, not like horrific or, or anything like that, just, you know, I knew it. Just like, you know, this is you're working on games for a long time, you're just doing shit. Might just be me, but, so I have OBS on, on, the, on my left monitor and the game on my right monitor. The game looks oddly smoother on OBS than it does on my actual monitor. I see, so when other people do an energy sword lunge around rough terrain, they just ignore the terrain and go directly to me. But when I lunge, my foot taps a rock and I get skyrocketed 10,000 feet into the air away from the target and then everybody just takes just takes me out like they're out skeet shooting. First time I ever went shooting was uh, skeet shooting with my friend Nick. We had, uh, God, we had, uh, rented a pair of Remington 870, what the fuck were they? Wingmasters, that's what it was. 870 Wingmasters, and it was pretty good. We did pretty well. Fairly recently, I got, uh, mostly just on impulse, I bought a, uh, a Charles Daly over under 20 gauge for skeet shooting, except I live in Washington, so I have no fucking idea where a skeet shooting range would be. <laughs> Are we about to lose? Yeah, we're about to lose. No one on our team is positive. And this is the sort of thing that happens repeatedly, where like I'll I'll get into a game and then we'll lose, and then I'll get into a game and then we'll lose, and it's just it's just losing and, and losing and, and nothing. It's like I I can't carry in big team battle. I can kind of carry in quick match, quick play, because, you know, there are four players, so I'm twenty five percent of the team. You can't it doesn't matter how good you are. You can't carry in big team battle. It's not fucking possible. So it's just... It's just fucked. I don't know. I'm not saying that they should get rid of skill-based matchmaking. That's very much not the point that I'm getting at here. I believe that skill-based matchmaking is good. People who are against skill-based matchmaking just don't like against playing people who know how to play the game, generally speaking. Uh, like I said, there's a fine line. I feel like there's a certain amount of tolerance that you do want to let in. And this game definitely did. I don't, I don't know what this game is doing, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, Call of Duty Warzone, a lot of people complain about skill matching. I don't even necessarily know if that's 100% true. I think that might just be because there are so many people in Warzone. So odds are... Odds are you're going to uh, have a couple people who get randomly put in the game who are really good. You know, and those people who are really good are naturally going to take everybody else out really quickly. So your odds of running into the people who are really good are much higher than the odds of running into the people who are bad because the people who are bad get picked off immediately. I, I, th I think that's the I think it's less of a skill matching issue there and more of just like a systematic thing with how the, the game itself works. I don't know. That, that might just be me. I might just be crazy. I might just be alone in the Call of Duty community. Call of Dimunity, if you would. Not that I've played Call of Duty in like, God, like a year. <laughs> I really liked Modern Warfare 2019. That was really good. It was a really good game. And then Black Ops Cold War came out and I was like, awesome. This game's fucking horrible. Uh. <laughs> Which is weird. Treyarch used to be... <laughs> Treyarch used to be one of the uh, better... And the nice thing about those errors when they pop up, by the way, is that they pop up in like two or threes, so it's going to pop up another error that is unrelated to me searching for the game. So Treyarch, they used to be the top Call of Duty dev, and then something happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm... I'm mostly just rambling at this point. I don't, I don't actually dislike Treyarch. I still think they're pretty good. 
It's just, you know, when you got to make games every year, every two years, or some crap like that, some of them end up less good. Here's my Not Slay 49 top, top tier list of uh, all Treyarch games, starting with uh, World at War, because I haven't played any Call of Duties earlier than 4, as I'm sure many people haven't. Oh, that's right, my dog is here. Hold on. Uh, how do I bring this to the front? There we go. There she is. It's Bubbo. I lost connection to this. Hey, say, say hi, Bubbo. Say hi, Bubbo. It's my dog. Say hi, Bubbo. I forgot she was in here. She's been laying in her little Bubbo bed for for quite a while. She just she gets so quiet. You just you just forget about. It. Anyway, so uh, top top tier list of all Treyarch Call of Duty games, starting with the, the thing I already said. Uh, so so starting off starting off in the in the in the in the F tier we're gonna have to put Black Ops Cold War. Uh that game it's just it's just just it's just not good. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with it. I haven't played enough of it to fully analyze as to why I dislike it, but I just I just didn't enjoy any of my time with it when I was playing. It's like it wants to be Modern Warfare twenty nineteen, but it doesn't do it very well. Uh, next up in, in the E tier, we got, uh, I don't know, probably, probably Black Ops 1. A lot of people really enjoyed Black Ops 1, but I, I don't know, it, it, to me it felt like it was just a very bland Call of Duty game, which I later learned was, uh, statistically a valid opinion, because, like, four out of the nine assault rifles are statistically identical in every single way. <laughs> like literally the commando and the ak-47 in black ops 1 are the same gun they do the same damage they have the same range the same rate of fire the same recoil pattern the same ammo capacity the only thing that is different between the two is the model and one of them reloads faster because they have different reload animations that's it the uh the galil in black ops 1 is largely in the same boat except it has a 35 round magazine which is slightly higher aside from that same damage, same range, same recoil pattern, same fucking everything. If I recall, the N field in Black Ops 1 also is, uh, it, it, you know, that, that same sort of deal where it has the same damage, range, recoil, etc. All that shit. I'm less certain about the N field, though. Point is, it's, it's, it's reasons like that. That's, that's the main reason why I just really don't like Black Ops 1. It's just incredibly fucking bland. Especially compared to... Mm, that's right, I was gonna reset. I was gonna reset that challenge. Shit. Well, I guess I'm just doing this game now. Cool. Black Ops, Black Ops 1, just very slow. And a lot of the guns are basically identical to one another, like I've been saying. Uh, so that's that's E tier. I think up after that would probably be Black Ops 4. Same sort of deal. It's just it, it's the same sort of formula as Black Ops 2 and 3, except I don't know, like like worse. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just not as good. I I was really not a huge fan of the the whole 150 health thing that they did. I thought that was weird. Obviously didn't really present any problems gameplay wise, but I, I don't know. It just it just felt like a game where you couldn't actually kill people no matter how much you shot them. Oh man, that guy's got a mongoose. Oh man, oh that guy's dead. Man, that's crazy. Damn it. Anyway, so up after that, it's probably uh, probably World at War. World at War was really good. The issue is that it became overrun with the colossal number of hackers, and also the uh, zombies did not have client authoritative hit scans. If you pointed your gun at a zombie's head, fired, and the zombie moved a significant amount between when you fired on the client and when the when the server received your gunshot. Or went the host rather. It was you know it was all peer to peer back then. Uh, then you would just you would just miss, even though on your screen your sights were lined directly on the zombie's head, and it was just really fucking annoying having that. 
That was also in Black Ops 1, by the way, but Black Ops 1 had such fucking amazing zombie maps. So yeah, that's at this point, I'm not even ranking them on a tier list. I'm basically just listing them off from, from worst to best, in my opinion. That guy's a sniper. Boom! I was like, oh shit, he wants me to get it, and I'm dead. So after World at War is probably, uh, probably Black Ops, Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 2 are very close for me. Did I already mention Cold War? I don't think Cold War is very good. That's that's the point that I'm trying to get at here. Oh, whoop. Oh, whoop. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I spunned. Black Ops, Black Ops 3. It was pretty solid. It was a pretty, pretty good game. This is, uh, was, was the only game that I've gotten Dark Matter in. Because every single other game, the challenges have been either stupid, or I don't really care about the games, or they have the riot shield. Let me tell you, the the o literally the only reason why I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2019 was because I was getting gold guns on all, or yeah, getting gold guns for everything, and uh, I got to the point where I was like, all right, I'm gonna do the riot shield. And then after a couple days of doing challenges for the Riot Shield, I was like, all right, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> so fucking horrible. Legitimately. Trying to get gold camo on the Riot Shield is a fucking sin. And I'm really mad about it, because the way that gold guns work in Call of Duty is that you only need to get the, uh, the base guns that were in the game at launch gold in order to, you know, boop, in order to unlock you know, whatever the entire class gold camo is, and then the super fancy platinum dark matter camo. You know? You only gotta do all the guns that were in the game at launch. So, like, guns that they added in DLC or as updates later, you don't have to do those in order to get everything gold. You know, it doesn't count towards your progress. And all they needed to do to make Modern Warfare 2019 doable for me and enjoyable in the long run was not have the riot shield in the game at launch. If they put the crossbow in the game at launch instead of the riot shield, I, like, I could use the crossbow fine. I didn't have any problems with it. It was just the fucking riot shield. <laughs> it's incredibly fucked because it's a shield, you know? And yet, all of the challenges relate to killing. So it's like, ooh, Get uh, get get 15 kills. Get get 20 kills. Get get however many double kills. Get however many kills uh, in, in a single life. And it's like, okay, why? Who the fuck decided? Who the fuck decided that the challenges for the shield should be killing related? That is. It's like they didn't actually think things through, honestly. I don't, I don't want to pull an Aaron Hansen thing and be like, <laughs> what, what's, what's with you, game designers? What were, what were you thinking? Uh, but, but legitimately, though, what the fuck were they thinking? I'm, like, you've nerfed the riot shield so, so far into the fucking dirt. It attacks so slowly, and you have to smack somebody twice at melee range in a game where you die in a fraction of a second in order to kill them, and... And you have to get multiple double kills with this thing. It's horrible. Genuinely fucking atrocious. Stop. Stop dinging me. I don't even know why I picked this up. No, no, no. Okay. I hate the shock rifle so much. I can't get kills with it. I'm very tired. Anyway. Anyway, let's... Get fucking, I don't have any grenades. I thought I did. I hit G and I was like, all right, there we... Why, why didn't I throw any... I don't have any grenades. Anyway, yeah, best best Treyarch Call of Duty is Black Ops 2. Y'all already know. Black Ops 2 is fucking great. And the best part is, it didn't have... Uh... There we go. That's the shit that I'm talking about. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh... But yeah, best part is... Damn it. Black Ops 2 didn't have Dark Matter in it. Didn't have, uh... E you know, didn't have fucking... Diamond Camo. No, it did. It, it didn't have Dark Matter, though. So, you know, I didn't really give a shit about the special category of weapons. So I just, I didn't need to do it. You know? I could just, I could just not get gold on the Riot Shield. I got gold on the crossbow and the knife, but, but not the fucking shield. 
I remember using the 5.7 in that game. I love 5.7s. I want to get a 5.7. But they're so fucking expensive. Go to FNUSA.com right now, everyone. I think. I think that's the website. Anyway, everybody go to FNUSA.com. And uh, look how expensive fucking 5.7s are. They're like 1,200. <laughs> and as if that wasn't bad enough, uh, 5.7 is uh, pretty... You know, it's it's a proprietary caliber. That isn't like mass produced or any. 5.7's uh, pretty. It's 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 really fucking expensive. <laughs> that's that's what I'm getting at here. No, don't get the shock rifle. It's a trap. It doesn't work. Uh, awkward vertices. That's a good that's a good gamer tag. But yeah, 5.7s are fucking expensive, and the ammo's... Ammo's... And the ammo's fucking expensive. But hot damn, it's so cool. It's like you got a handgun that's chambered in tiny 5.56. I like it. It's neat. And then, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 comes out, and they turn it into, like, a... Like a long-range, low-recoil handgun. Musa sends his regards. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. That wasn't your Discord, by the way. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna re-roll this fucking challenge. That's so fucking easy! How is that in- <laughs> Bubbo. She just, she just looks at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, uh, that's gonna be all for now, everybody. Until next time, this game's challenge system sucks ass. It's so bad! You, the grapple hook exists in every map, and it's just an equipment that you can pick up. It's not a power weapon. God.